What is up guys, Savage Fox Productions back again with another coin video. Recommended and requested by one of my buddies. This one for you, Kane. Alright, I'm going to start this one out with this 2020. Not a very noticeable error. But you can see right there, there's a die chip cud on the lip of the coin not very noticeable but it's there you guys can see that no damage to the coin rim and you can see right there raised all right but that's not the coolest uh thing i've got to show I've been digging and I've been digging hard to coins to show you guys some really awesome things. And I ain't, I ain't going to disappoint you. Stick to the end because this right here is another 2020 with an awesome error on it. It's probably another great find, I might say. Like that uh, 2019 Memorial Park quarter that I found. That one was a crazy find. I even looked it up on Google. There was no known errors for that quarter. But yeah, stick around. You guys will see that one at the end. But anyways, what I want to get into is... Keep on the lookout. Because I've noticed this. A, a nickel usually weighs about five grams okay and I have these scales just for when I think you know I might find a silver coin or something like that and I came across something very strange and very odd to me which was these two coins right here these two nickels right here Alright, now, when you're able to look at them, that one looks like it's been done by the mint. This one, on, however, on closer inspection, which we'll get into here in a second, you can see all the pitting from where it was casted and I felt automatically when I even before I looked at it when I picked it up I felt right away that something was off about this coin so I took it and I weighed it All right. go ahead and scoot this over try not to knock alright I'm going to drop it on the scales right here. 3.9. That came out to 3.9. Alright. Now this one has been pressed. I can tell because it's got a smoother uh, feel to it. Smoother look to it. And when I drop it on the scales, it registers a 4.6 which is close to the average weight of a nickel but still low so I'm thinking this is a nickel that was minted out of something else other than nickel and copper any guesses let me know 4.6 on that but this one if you guys come across things like this this is a counterfeit. Don't be duped. They're cool. I'm going to keep it for my collection just so I have it. You know. And just so. You know. If anybody needs a reference that I know. And they find something like this. And they're interested in seeing if it's actually legit or not. That's a great way to do it. But anyways. Let's get into the uh, magnifying part of them. Slide 
just scope over. I don't know if you guys are wanting to see this. Alright, this will be the pressed one first, I do believe. Which one is it? It's this one. This one right here. Okay. You guys see how it's pitted a little bit? A little rough around the edges. Some greening. But there's Liberty. You see all the pitting. But I think that's just natural wear and tear on this coin. And the date. Is 1972 and it's a Denver Mint. But I think the wear and tear on that side was just from where it was rubbed across the concrete or something. Perhaps. But you see on the other side how smooth it is. It looks like a mint coin. Now, this one I know is a fake. This one is 1974, and I don't even see a mint mark on it, honestly. But here's how the structure of this one looks. Looks almost similar to the other side of that one coin, right? But, here's the difference. When you look at it, I'm trying to keep it focused for y'all. When you look at it and get into the finer details like lettering, let me try to get some lettering for you guys. Backside's probably the best place to do that. When you get into lettering, you see how that's not it's like solid? It's not solid on either side, and this isn't a ground down coin at all. By no means. See all that pitting? See how all that's not properly solid in any way, shape, or form? Barely legible on this? That's supposed to be, uh... I do believe the fucking... You know, the E. Pluberus... Unum. It's hardly legible through the microscope. There's the bottom half of it. You guys see how like pitted this coin is. That's insane. Alright, but anyways. Let's move on to some better errors, some real errors. Alright. At first, I thought this was an error. But then, there's nothing wrong with this side of the coin. No dents. No flap areas. But then you flip it, just on one side. Flat. I feel like that's an error coin. What do you guys think? I'm going to start moving through these pretty quick. This one, there. This is a die, or a plant. Pretty 
I can actually see the layering of the coin and everything where it broke off. Too bad I couldn't find that piece. That would have been awesome. But this is a really old coin. It is 1978D. That's awesome. The 19 has gone, but the 78 is there. Amazing coin right there. All right. On to some improperly annealed nickels. This one, you see the copper showing through on the head of Roosevelt. That was pretty awesome, I thought. And this one has spotting on both sides. Where I'm pretty sure it's probably just weathered down, so I'm just going to drop that into the weather jar. Now these, you can actually see the copper showing through. That's pretty cool. All these ones, you see all the copper showing through on these ones. That one, there is no clad layer whatsoever on that one. I mean, there are little tiny spots, like right there under the nose, giving them a mustache. And then there's a couple of spots on the back as well. Thought that was pretty cool. And last but not least on the nickels. I'll go ahead and show the one that I lost. Well, I thought I lost to the bank. But then found again. After finding it the first time in a roll of nickels. It's a two-headed nickel. I don't know if it's an antique parlor trick nickel. Or, because if it is, it probably ain't worth nothing. Besides, probably to a magician or something like that. But, yeah. On one side, it's a 1975. And then on the other side, it's a 1961. Not really seeing any type of lip that would indicate that it was milled out or anything I mean there's nothing wrong with the edge so I mean I, I don't know I'll have to go back and have you guys look at that one in more detail once I get a better camera. But anyways, all nickels aside, now we're getting down to the big fish. Well, all right, what 2020 quarter do you guys think it is? Go ahead and pause the video and tell me what. 2020 quarter do you think this is that has an error on it that I want to show you guys so badly at the end of this video which is right now if you guessed the art quarter you're correct now what type of error you might ask is on this quarter is this something awesome oh you know me guys I wouldn't be making a video this long keeping you guys in suspense like this if it wasn't an awesome error now would I you guys are gonna like this one get more light awesome I'm gonna bring that up there we go on this one He's right here. He made his first stroke, guys. Ain't that crazy? 
Let me see if I can turn this side off and make it look better. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Sorry guys, I don't have the best setup, so it's kind of hard to show you. Trying to get it focused. There we go, look at that. He made his first stroke, guys. First freaking stroke. He's painting the house. That's the beginning of the roof, it looks like. Look at that. It's amazing. Awesome, awesome air find. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe. I'm going to be bringing more just like this. Stay tuned.